okay what we've got here is uh, 500 grams of minced lamb and two onions chopped up just uh, fry them in the bottom of the dutch oven the ft6 i'm using here by petromax until it's sort of the at least the meat is pretty cooked it's going to be in here for a while anyway it's a good stew this good camping stew and at home in the winter these do these sort of one pot uh, meals frequently just take a while but it's quicker with the uh, minced lamb or you can use uh, oxtail but you would have to cook that for a good while or pressure cook it or um, neck of mutton or neck of lamb but I've uh, when I'm camping I use minced lamb still gives you the flavour But uh, don't take it probably takes about an hour probably to cook it on total of stew. So what I did before I left to go camping was I put in a full packet of dried butter beans in soak, or as you up north, I put them up in steep. So they were uh, sat around for 24 hours in soak, in steep, as I just said. I add the full packet of butter beans and the and some water. Add some more water if need be. Uh, obviously, it keeps boiling away slightly, so uh, just top it up as as you see fit. I've done a voiceover really for this video is because it was raining so hard on the air shelter it was incredible uh, there was three of us in the air shelter and we couldn't even e hear each other uh, talking so um, when I listened to the audio uh, Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce put as much as you like into this I put a quite a good uh, number of shakes in I'll put it in afterwards but uh, I like to put some in when I'm cooking it yeah, it was so loud in the in the, uh, in the air shelter that you couldn't hear each other or anybody and I couldn't hear the audio. And what I bought as well there was a lamb stock pot. You could use the lamb stock cubes or any, any vegetable stock or anything you like really, but uh, as it's minced lamb, I'm using a lamb stock cube or stock pot in this case, sorry, it's like the, the jelly type ones. And probably had trouble getting in the wrapper like I used to do. In that goes. Give us stir. Got to get it up to boil once the uh, or simmer once the beans have gone in. And it does look like I'm about to have a beer. I just thought, as it was a camping trip, let's stick some Guinness in it. It's a good old stew. So I suppose you could use any old stout or beer, but I've got Guinness there. So in went half a can or so of Guinness. And uh, I'll give you one guess as to what I did with the rest. Anybody that's, uh, can see my drinking horn there will realise where the rest of it's going. Gonna get drunk. Along with several other cans probably. One can of garden peas. Drain the garden peas. I did make a joke about you know pouring the uh, the liquid outside of the air shelter. Uh, be careful, you might get the grass wet. But uh, we were practically floating at this point anyway. So uh, in go the peas. You could use uh, frozen peas if you're doing this at home, but uh, for convenience for travelling and camping, it was a can of garden peas this time. 
the good thing with these things is, is you can put in what you like pretty much so you know if you wanted uh, green beans or something you could probably get away with putting green beans in peas and carrot mix or um, chopped up celery anything you like they come with kind of sliced carrots Drain the can first, and then uh, in go the carrots. There they go. Now, normally at this point, I would probably put in a bit of a bit of gravy browning, the old browning. Um, I didn't take it with me, I forgot. Doesn't matter really, it's only for really for a bit of colour. Just tend to with the butter beans look a little insipid without it. But I did put some uh, gravy granules in later at uh the thing the upper bit and gave it some colour. On goes the lid, simmer it for a while. That's my Petromax lid lifter. That's for lifting the lids now when they do get hot because that's now got hot, so uh, it's beyond picking me picking it up with my fingers. Still looking good, coming on a bit. You need to really keep cooking it, and I'll keep checking it, but check it until the uh, butter beans are soft and start to mush up a bit, really. So it, um, you don't want them too hard. So I'll probably simmer for about an hour in total. Give it a stir, check the water quantity. Add a bit more water to it if you want, if it's looking like it's drying up a little. I'm just uh, there testing, I've just obviously stolen a bean out of it to see how, the, how well the beans are softening up. Need a little longer yet. Put the lid back on, simmer some more. Have another drink while you wait. Right, I did add the gravy granules before this, so this is just uh, for sake of showing you. Just check it in until it looks like it's uh, gone a bit thicker, till the consistency you like it. And um, it adds a bit of colour to it as well. So now that's looking pretty good. The beans have broken down. It's gone uh, sort of mushy, etc, etc. Looks like a damn good tasty soup. And I'll tell you, it tasted fantastic. Uh, me and my two colleagues in the tent that night, we ate about two bowls each, because it makes plenty. So they could, that could have easily, the amount of that FT6 could have easily have fed six people. You want to cheat altogether, don't use um, dried butter beans, use canned. About five or six tins. Anyway, enjoy your stew. There's a bit of crusty bread. <laughs>